Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Resident Evil Village Shadow of the Rose. When we last left off, we had uh, had a bit of a fight with Evelyn, and that was really bloody cool. Anyway, we're out of that um, house at last, which is good, because I wasn't a fan. Ooh, we know that door. We know that door. Something very messed up is going on here. But luckily, we have our precious gun back. And we're probably going to need it. But we're going to be hoarding as much ammo as we can here. So, talking of which, we do still have all of our um, mixables as well, which is cool. All of our crafting uh, items, which is very good. Whoa. Oh man. Oof. Beautiful. And here we are. How am I? What is this place? Back to where it all kind of began, huh? Kind of. Let's go. Let's go. Head for the giant core. You got it. Hmm. Hello. No, we can't actually aim at the crows, sadly. This isn't Resident Evil 4. Can't shoot the crows for extra stuff. So we're actually back in the village. Cool. Very cool. Well, I guess we're going to keep exploring. Ooh. Definitely have a bunch of white sage. Absolutely, frickin' lootly, dude. Just what the doctor ordered. Lovely. Ooh. What's up here? Anything up here? Of course, first aid med. Very, very nice. Very nice. Just like in the castle. Yeah, but these are just copies, though. Everything from the castle is just stranded around here. So there's all these different layers to this place. I guess we can't get past those. Ugh. Oh, wow. There's a few of them. Alright. There wasn't this many of them. Um, originally, definitely more of these guys now. Uh, I guess that's to be expected. I think there's like two of them there on the standard difficulty. I could be remembering that wrong, but pretty sure I'm not. Shotgun shells. Lovely. Hello. Hey guys. But I know. But I'm here to save as much of my equipment as I can. If it's all the same to you. Oh, hi. Yep, hi. I know. Doesn't seem very efficient to keep dodging you like this, but I need to find that crystal. I'm gonna need everything I have for the end of this section. Oof. I do love the bloody weapons in this game. Just the animations of them and everything. They're so good. I can't wait for Resident Evil 4 Remake. The only thing I really don't want, I don't want another stupid stalker enemy. I really don't want another Mr. X or Nemesis following us around. Nemesis worked because that was the thing of the game. Nemesis was Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Like, 
you know, he works because the whole game is built around him. Uh, Resident Evil 2, they really dialed up Mr. X. Ooh, too much. To the point where he was just obnoxiously annoying. Alright. Not every Resident Evil needs a stalker enemy that's constantly on your ass. Oh, I guess so. Oh, wow. Oof. I guess so. Young lady. Yeah. Someone's been here. Someone has, but who is that someone? The Megamyce absorbs the memories of all life within its reach. But there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. 1. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the mutamycy in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the megamycy as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycy, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me a fascinating insight. All those years I strived, I have continued to strive. They are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, the understanding and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycy where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly per a perfect arrangement. With so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and reviving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps... What is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of searching. Rosemary Winters. Okay. Somebody has a bit of a grievance with us. Don't they? Curious. Oof. I have been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousness stored within the Megamyce. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamyce and mixed with other consciousness and memories, extracting and reassembling an, in an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousness to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual, birthed anew in this realm. A success, to be sure, but while, this, while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Hmm. Conclusion. Whilst manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. So, uh, the person writing this is mentioning they've managed to reproduce somebody and they're talking here I believe about the um, Duke so that Duke was not the Duke that was just a imitation who, all this? who indeed I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hopes that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel however the results were less than ideal 
It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time. Could they? Well, it's starting to look that way, Rose. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, disposed of her will to live and her mutamycine power. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. Hmm. Notice how they're really loading us up with ammo and weapons. And I mean, like, really loading us up with ammo and weapons. Oof. Ooh. So, I don't know if these clones are going to go off and be reborn somewhere and you know have to struggle and try and survive in this hellscape not sure bunch of white sage I think that's all of the diaries here Yeah, okay, we missed some pages here. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. One, the fact that Rose herself is still alive. Two, some other actor within this realm. Three, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. Where she were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. In addition, uh, additional observations. Further experiments with these Rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations invoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. So there we go, that explains the first realm that we went into. Interesting stuff. So the very broken mask duke. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I'd made it when I saw the blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close, I was so close. I'm almost there. Michael. I wonder who writ that. Is it one of these clones? But would one of these clones be able to write? We don't know. We don't know how smart they are. It's through here. Black God, which lives in us and which we live. Create for us a new world, <clears throat> as benefits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. Thing is, <clears throat> yeah, just a bit. Thing is, if you were, say, in this realm, is it really you, or is it just a fake consciousness, a copy of a consciousness? Are, is the real you still outside, alive? 
Again, that goes into a deeper uh, discussion that we had uh, about consciousness on on um, our summer let's play. That was a cracking game. And I don't like those sort of games. Hello, you. Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who, who are you? My name is Miranda. You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly no, but Kay said, did he or did I? That Kay was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? No way. Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! So that's what it was all about. She still wants her kid to be reborn. Oh, I beg to Rose! differ. Right, let's go. You Ethan's a bit of a badass here. Right, let's just keep running. Keep running. Oh shit. Dad, wait, hold up. Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run. Run! Yep, keep going. Must keep going. Whilst Ethan's just like killing everybody. But that's okay. Now notice as well how Rose is wearing Ethan's coat. Now you'll only see that if you've played um, Village. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. Well, we're working on it, buddy. We're working on it. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Well, this is bad. Oh, she is. Stay away from my family! Rose, come on. She is one ugly bitch, man. Jesus. Sadly, we have no powers. Ethan, persistent as always. Dad! Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! Well, they kind of will, though. I don't want to leave you! I know. I know. I love you. But I need to know you're safe. So please, just Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. Don't worry, Dad. 
got this. You That's so cool. Stand against me in the heart of my domain. They will now. Okay. So this is rough. Now, this dodge mechanic is a little bit iffy. It does mostly work, but it is a kind of a little bit iffy. Now, what we're going to do here is make as many of those as we can. Because Here I come. this, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, is probably gonna be rough. Don't resist. Well, I'm gonna have to resist. Sorry, that's kind of the way it is. This is. Ah, uh, well, it may be the end, at least a couple of times. <laughs> But we're going to do our best. Whoop! This dodge move is so cool. Why suffer needs? I really wish we could have had this earlier. Offer yourself unto me. Nope. Don't think so. There's nothing. There's nothing to fear, Rose. Only death and eternal damnation and this will all, all the other good stuff. Whoop. Yeah, so basically we just have to keep dodging her. Let's see this power. Well, I've demonstrated it a few times now. Why do you Oh god. Got a little bit too close there. Now How about this? This boss does go on a little bit. There's no shoes. See what I mean with the old dodge thing there? Didn't really work. Here I come. Come Don't on. Resist. Maybe we do have to start shooting her. This is Maybe we do. <laughs> yep, dodge not working. <laughs> Why suffer needs? Definitely a bit on the iffy side. Offer yourself unto me. No. We've been over this. No. There's nothing to fear. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, that dodge. Is a bit of a bastard. Now there should be this will also like weapons and ammo and stuff here. I say there weapons. Will be and Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see oh, there's stop. Ethan. Didn't realize he was there. Why do you find me? Okay. There's no shields. Hmm. We definitely have to do damage to her, I think. Here I come. Yep, and you can't dodge whilst you're reloading. For reasons. Don't resist. And even if you were to survive. Ah, here we go. This is what we want. Oh my god, they are so much faster. They are so much faster than they were <laughs> on the other difficulty. Oh jeez. That's going to get rough. Wait for them to turn orange. There we go. So now, we need to <laughs> grab these. And then wait for her to come close. And then give her... Oh, it's G, right, yeah. Offer yourself unto me. Okay, 
So we can avoid those shots as well, which is There's good nothing. to know. <laughs> Missed her. Yep, that's the problem. You got to get your timing perfect, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. This Come on. There we go. There, got her. Right now, you want to run and hit her. Right, load up. And she's going to change again. There will be wailing and but you must absorb her projectiles. Let's see this Which is where the difficulty comes in. Okay. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What do you mean, why do I fight? So I don't want to become your daughter, maybe. Just a... Just a thought. Now, unfortunately, we have to do this quite a lot. So that's twice we've got her now. There's no shit. Whoop. Whoop. Right, let's eat one of those. Come on, give me the round, give me the round. Here I come. Thank you. Don't resist. This there we go. Nice. So this is what? Number three? Come on. There we go. It's actually working reasonably well this time. It took so much to learn. But you're incredible. Ooh. Okay, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. No! I refuse! I don't know where she is! You will there she is. How many cycles do you have to do of this then? Your time is oh shit! Too many, if you ask me. Yeah, we know! We know. The only one who can bring her back. Whatever it is. Shit, we missed. Oh, we missed and we paid the price. I will see this. We kind of got a lot to manage here. No. Become No. <laughs> oh, I hate it when she does this. Can I have like one of those big ball things, this? please? You. Thank you. Where are you? There you are. Excellent. So it says about using the white sage, but we don't really need the white sage. Um, I don't think we need the white sage anyway. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Right, here she goes. Here she goes. Turning into a news monster again. Whoop. Man, I love Rosa's powers. I really do. It's a shame that we just didn't get more of it. Now we are kind of a little bit low on chocolate shelter. That's okay. Can't touch this bitch. Come on. Come on. Oof. Come on. Let's have that orb. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nope. I <laughs> like that. Let's see this power. Got ya. You didn't expect that, did ya? Huh? 
What is this? This is cool, getting your ass kicked. Why do you fight me? At least I hope this is you getting your ass kicked. Be a little bit awkward if it wasn't now, wouldn't it? There's no shields. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Oof. There we go. Main. Uh, she's got more balls. Right, now if you'd kindly bring yourself over to me. There we go. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Impossible! Not quite so impossible, it would seem. Three shells left, though. That's kind of sucky. Definitely would rather have more than three shells. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. Where are you? There you are. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Be by my side. No. Me no like you. Whoop. Must concentrate. Oof. I don't know what she's laughing about so much. You will fall. She's very Oh god, confident of her abilities. Your time is at Now I don't know you. if we Got her. Oh that was close. That was very close. Now unfortunately that's all we have for the hang uh, the shotgun. Which is bad. Do you still not see? Ooh, sick burn. Oh no, this sucks. This you sucks. Will never be normal. Only I understand how special you are. <laughs> well, you don't really want me for me though, do you? You want me to be a vessel for your daughter. That's not really you just um won't give up. Oh shit! Okay, that worked. <laughs> that was rough. Makes you perfect best. Uh huh. Yeah. So you keep saying, bitch. Not a fan of all this saying. More of a fan of doing. Okay. Okay. Slowly wearing her down, lads. Slowly wearing her down, lads. One. Missed. Missed. Okay, so if you miss that one cycle, that's rough. Got it. Okay, cool. Right, come at me, bitch. Now, I don't know... No, I thought as much. So we can't actually. Yeah, unfortunately, we're stuck on the scenery there. Come on. Keep moving. Ooh. Now, I'm pretty sure when we use that dodge uh, move, I think we're actually invincible. Not a hundred percent sure. This will also I also wish. Oh god. That was rough. Oh no. Ah oh, after all that we lost. Now where does it put us out of interest? You think your power?
powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart I'm of my guessing, name. I'm guessing it puts us right back at the beginning of the fight. Some of that. Yeah, bitch. Right, now she's right in our face. Let's give her some shotgun. Okay, I think we're doing some damage this time. My only concern is the amount of health we have. Okay, cool. Nope. Not happening, love. Not happening. Missed up. Unfortunately, if you miss that cycle, you're going to get hit by everything. How about this? Just got to concentrate. Why do you Oh shit. Gonna get hit by everything. There we go. Where is she? There she is. Missed her again. Oh, that hurt. Right. Where is she? Gotcha. You bitch. Take my shotgun. Impossible. Not so impossible. Whew. She just has an obscene amount of health. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Not great. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Could have been better. Absolutely could have been better. But that's the end. Use this. Take her down. So you have to bring her down five times. Oh, I will. Return and yield your strength to me. <laughs> oh, that felt good. So much power. You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva. I'm not a goddamn vessel. I'm not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. And you're done. She really is baby crazy. Let it die, Jesus. I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. I love you too, Dad. 
家。I'm back. I'm back. I think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like it. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. <laughs> Seems a pretty poor taste joke, to be fair, given you know the gravity of the situation. But hey. Now you can see someone walking off in the distance there. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out on YouTube, but I don't know if that's supposed to be someone in particular. Well, they've stopped, so I guess so. Hmm. So there we have it. The DLC. Um, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um... I like the shooty shooty bang bang stuff way more than I like the sneak around run and hide stuff but then I just don't like that sort of game anyway it was interesting to see that Miranda was still surviving in that uh, mutamycy or megamycy fragment um, lots of questions I still have lingering I still I don't know if that um, Mutamyce or Megamyce is still connected to the rest of it uh, as a whole. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> and I'm not sure if everybody that died in there is actually dead or if their consciousness is just, you know, eternally trapped, which is kind of horrific when you think about it. Um, Rose was quite a cool character as well. I think there was uh, she was way more interesting and more fleshed out than Ethan. Uh, and talking of Ethan as well, I'm not really sure why they have this... Um, this thing about showing his face. They absolutely refuse to show his face. Now, even if you play the, ma uh, the main story campaign, because it's a third person view, if you can, and it's quite hard in places, but it can be done, um, get a look at Ethan's face, he will look away from the camera. You literally cannot see Ethan's face, and I don't know why. I, I'm not really sure. Maybe they're going to, I don't know, do some kind of big reveal with him at some point I don't know but will there be more DLC I don't know and uh, I guess having that little uh, deep dive into the Mega uh Rose has joined Hound Wolf which is still a really dumb name by the way I guess they probably would have called it Wolfhound but it was a little bit too close to something else so, I'm not really sure where Resident Evil is going to go from there. Is it going to carry on? Um, you know, 16 years into the future? I kind of hope not. But at the same time, I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would just mean that all of our original characters are way too old. Are they going to split the timeline now? Are we going to have like a futuristic timeline? I suppose 16 years in the future isn't that futuristic. But I wonder if they're going to do something like that. And then we're going to have the traditional um, modern day timeline as well. I'm not sure. But I can't wait to find out. Uh, I, there's still some things I want to do with this. I want to do Resident Evil Mercenaries that's attached to this. But my computer at the moment is just really not up to it. Uh, same with recording this game. I think recording this game was probably the last major thing this computer is going to do. Because that encoding, oh, she was struggling with that encoding really badly. I hope it isn't too bad, but as I've recorded the entirety of this in two sittings, I haven't been able to go back and check the video files, but... I mean, if it's really stuttery, I'm still going to upload it. Because I've recorded it now. <laughs> so, but I hope it's not too bad. But that should give us some more points to spend. I am going to be spending more time in th with this game. I do want to unlock more of the things. But like I say, that's going to have to wait until I upgrade my computer. So, Hardcore Difficulty, Supreme Teen. Three and a half hours. Interesting. Um, it took me about that time to complete it first time round. Go on, cat. Out the door. You're literally in, out, in, out, in, out. Yeah, it took me about three and a half hours for my first run as well. So, that's basically it. I mean... I'm not sure what else we have. So. We do have some interesting weapons here. I would like to start buying some more of these weapons. But of course, we have to complete video, uh, Village of Shadows difficulty for that. Which. Ugh. And that one, we have to get an SS rank. Now, I was looking up Village of Shadows difficulty, and they all say the same thing. Do it with infinite powered weapons. Powered up weapons with the infinite ammo. Otherwise, it is borderline impossible. So, yeah, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't mind to get some of these infinite ammo. 
options. But apparently we need to... Oh, I can actually get infinite ammo for the grenade launcher. Which is kind of interesting. Like, half tempted to just buy that and try it. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to have infinite ammo with that. Oh, boy. I think you probably get through just about anything with that. Should we buy it? Sure. Pretty much cost us all of our money, but whatever. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.